when you are an Oracle with DLC, you don't actually need a server. You just need to broadcast a result somewhere. It can be on your, you know, on your Twitter page, like I did with my bet with Chris about the election. You know, the Oracle is rebroadcasting a result. It's not signing anything. So it means that anybody that trusts this Oracle can use the Oracle without contacting him. And, and the Oracle don't have to spend any money because it doesn't have any, you know, it doesn't have to broadcast any transaction. So it's very cheap to be an Oracle. But on top of this, there is a kind of pro- a way that if the Oracle try to cheat, uh, for example, but imagine that you have a bet and the Oracle try to sign two different outcome of the same bets, then what will happen is that this oracle will have leaked his key, his, his private keys. And so if he leak his private keys, then anybody can sign anything as if they were the oracle, which is pretty bad. So there is kind of that fruit proof backed into it. And um, another thing that is cool is that so it's using adapter, it's, it's, it's using ECDSA adapter signature. But a cool thing that you can do with this is for UX, we still need to figure out for UX, but the nice thing is that you can aggregate several Oracle betting on something in one single key. So imagine that you don't trust one Oracle, but you, you trust like five of them, of them. Then with the other peer you're, you're in, you can aggregate those five keys together and use the result of those five oracle or, or uh yeah of those five oracles some threshold of those five oracles to 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 have the the result of your bets which is pretty cool but i'm i'm surprised that you got all of these features specifically the aggregated adapter signature even with ecdsa the, the current signature scheme that bitcoin uses uh, yes. what are the challenges with that and and how would taproot and Schnorr signatures make it easier okay so so we are using ECD, uh, so for DLC, we're using ECDSA adapter signature. So an adapter signature, very quickly, it's similar to an encrypted signature. So when Alice is signing, she's encrypting it with the pub, uh, 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 public key. That, so the public key, for example, is the Oracle that knows the private key of this public key. So she encrypts this signature. Bob can verify that this encrypted signature is indeed signing the transaction that he's expecting to, but he cannot know what is beyond. And when the Oracle is like revealing the, the outcome of the bet, he reveals the private key of this adapter signature. So you can decrypt it. And, uh, and, and from this, you can, when, when you decrypted it, you have an ECDSA signature. But the nice thing is that this key, the, the key that you are using for encrypting or decrypting, it's not using ECDSA at all. Like it, it's plain old EC, uh, EC uh, like black magic because even me, I don't really understand the, the black magic behind <laughs> it. But it means that you can do all those key, cool stuff of key aggregation without too much trouble. And uh, as far as, as far as, uh, as Taproot is concerned, so, I know that we start, uh, we, we start proved to have strong signature, which means that we can do, um, adapter signature in a way more easy way. And frankly, I, I, I try to ask to some cryptographer, what's the big deal? What's the big difference with, between that and what we already have in DLCs? As far as I understand, it's only speed. 